Hey guys, what's going on? A Button Games here. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys a set dungeon in Diablo 3. So for those of you that don't know what that is, they're kind of hidden all throughout the, the, the world, if you will, of, of the maps in here. And um, you need to have all the pieces of the set on. You have to go to the exact location. And then you kind of have to complete these ludicrous challenges. I've never actually done one, but I'm going to try one with my Demon Hunter. I think this is actually the only character that I use that has all the pieces equipped. Um, I don't think it counts if you use the Ring of the Royal Grandeur and only have like five pieces on out of six, but I'll have to give that a go. However, on all my characters, I do have the full set, so maybe what I'll do is I'll kind of just, uh, I'll throw on the remaining piece of the set and I'll show it to you with my Monk, my Witch Doctor, my Demon Hunter, my Barbarian. Um, I really want to do one with my Monk. I think I have Uliana's helmet, so that could actually be a hell of a lot of fun. Now, um, in the background, you might hear my wifey's making cookies. She's a pretty good cook. She decided that she wanted to make cookies, but um, the trick is that we don't have all the ingredients, so she's just deciding to omit the things that we don't have. So I don't know much about cooking, but I'm pretty sure that's not what you're supposed to do. So we'll, we'll have to see how that goes. So where these are located, um, I can give you guys a list of all of them, but it would literally take a whole video in itself to do that because there's one for every set on every character. Um, if you guys want an extensive list, just ask for it and I'll put it in like the description. I'll update the description or something. I just don't want to take the time to type all of it out. I mean, you guys can easily just Google Google where it is and stuff like that. But uh, So this one is going to be for the Marauder set. As you see, I have the full Marauders on. Not using the Ring of the Royal Grandeur, so that's pretty cool. Now where this one is located is... What am I doing? This one is located here. The Bridge of... Uh, what is this called? The, the Bridge of... Corsic or something like that. So we just gotta go find it here. You know? I think it's just right in the middle of the map. I'm pretty sure. Uh, they're obviously not all right in the middle of the map. I, I just think when I found this one, I'm pretty sure it was right in the middle of the map. There's like this um, big opening that looks kind of like this thing over here, but it's where that giant uh, trebuchet was that was in the story mode, and I'm pretty sure that that's where the set dungeon was. But. I have got to fix something real quick. Sorry, guys. There we go. Okay. I just had to change the sounds. They were kind of throwing me off. I had everything being output to the headphones, and I couldn't really hear what the hell I was doing. So, let's see. All right, yeah. So, I think it's right here, guys. So, I'm not sure what just happened when I uh, turned the sound off. I don't know if that just killed the, the video partly or something, but I'll make sure I edit that out. So, here's what it looks like. Um, you are worthy to enter this one, the embodiment of the Marauder. So it is right here, literally right in the middle of the map, like I said. Uh, in the story mode, there's like a thing here that you have to kill, I'm pretty sure. So let's go see what this is. So let's see here. Primary objectives. Keep a minimum of three centuries active for the duration of the dungeon. Do not allow any enemies into melee range. Oh my gosh, this is going to be really hard. Mastery. Complete all the objectives within the time limit. No heroes will die when taking fatal damage. Instead, the dungeon will fail. Game difficulty has no effect on dungeon difficulty. Oh, okay. So you could be in, like, Torment 10. All right, so place three centuries, then 60 seconds. Done. Three centuries set up. Thank you. I mean, I mean, how am I supposed to keep those guys out of melee range if they're just going to, like, pop up out of the ground? But we'll see here. So I'm not exactly sure how this how this works. Kill 110 enemies without taking fatal damage. Okay, I'm pretty confident that I can do that. No! I did let that guy get into melee range, but I'm not sure if that counts because that almost seems a little bit unfair that they can put the uh, the worms in here who can just kind of pop up wherever the hell they are. Because then they're automatically in melee range, but we'll see. I don't even know what the rewards are for this, so we're just going to pump through one of these here um, real quick. I'm sure it's about to get a lot harder, so I'm not banking on this being the only thing. I have no idea what the hell that was. My inventory's full, apparently, to do which that. isn't good since I want to collect a reward for this, but we shall see. Ooh. My hatred is too so I'm long. still not really sure what they mean by don't let anybody into melee range, because I'm pretty sure a few guys have definitely been in melee range, So, but maybe, maybe they're a little bit um, uh, nice with that. 
So I think that would be kind of hard. Because then you kind of got to know where they're running at you from. And that has nothing to do with your skill at the game. It's just kind of dumb luck, really. <laughs> if, they, if they run into you or not. Or if they run after my pets first, which seems like is what's happening. So let's see here. Uh, so I still have to kill 35 monsters without taking fatal damage. As I almost died right there. Uh, we have... Uh, 34 monsters now, sorry. We have 2 minutes and 42 seconds left, as you guys can probably see there. It's at the uh, bottom right of the objectives. So we're, we're, in, we're in good shape. Um, you know, barring any, like, ridiculous combination of enemies or something, I, I don't see how I'm going to fail this. Um, but then again, this build that I'm using is, is rather broken, so that could also have, <laughs> have an effect on that. So let's see here. Going on through, we got 2 minutes and 17 seconds, we gotta kill one monster, we did it. Um... My hatred is too low. Oh, I see, okay. So... Maybe I have failed the melee range one, but we'll, we will find out because... Oh. My, my wifey's just breaking the kitchen over there, apparently. Um... I think what's gonna happen is the entire... but it says duration of the dungeon, so... I think that the duration of the dungeon is going to be until the timer runs out. So I think you ha I, so I think I have to do this for another, you know, minute or so, which is fine, I'll obviously do it. Um, and then we'll see kind of what happens. Maybe I, I won't complete all the objectives. I'm obviously not going to die. Um, I don't see that happening. These guys aren't really that tough. And like it said, the difficulty of the dungeon really had um, no impacts. Or the difficulty of the game has no impact on the actual dungeon itself, so I think you could be in Torment 10 and this would be the same difficulty as if you were in Hard. So, that's the way it seems, because I, I think I'm in like Torment 8 right now and these guys are r way too easy. There's This wouldn't normally happen, like the bosses and stuff dying really, really fast, so I think that there is a little, uh, definitely a little something to that. Alright, we are getting there. What the? Ah, I hope that doesn't come to melee range, because that is not fair. Alright, I think... Did we? Oh no, we didn't. We didn't explore the whole dungeon. But, uh, kill six monsters and complete all objectives in the time limit. For mastery, kill six monsters. I don't know what that means. I've already killed a hell of a lot of guys. Um, I'm, I'm not sure, guys. We'll see, we'll see what happens here in the next 45 seconds uh, when this thing expires. For all I know, I could have failed because of something stupid, so hopefully not. I don't want to waste everybody's time here, but we're just going to run up to that little top area up there. I'm thinking that I probably, um, finished everything. I don't, I don't really see anybody else. I don't see any pads that I missed other than that one up there that I'm kind of heading towards. So, uh, we'll see if there's anything up there. I might not even have time to finish exploring, but that's okay. I'm just going to keep, you see me keep laying down sentries because remember one of the objectives was to keep... Three sentries at active at all times, at least three. So we're we're just making sure I do that. Um, that guy just kind of ate me, so that's that's cool. Oh, there we did. Okay, see, I did. I did everything. Wow, that's kind of cool. So do not allow any enemies in the melee range. I think they're a little bit lenient with that, probably because the damn worms. Um, yeah, that would have been pretty annoying. Uh, kill 125 monsters without taking fatal damage. That was fairly simple. Um, I did it in 425, the target time was 430, kill all monsters and complete all objectives in the time limit, so I did that. Um, so yeah, I, it doesn't look like that there's any uh, reward per se, but maybe this thing will spit something out, I don't know. Nope. Okay, so perhaps there is um, actually no reward for this, but maybe I got like a ton of experience there at the end or something like that, so I'll have to look more into that, but... Just for those of you guys that didn't know uh, what those dungeons were, I had mentioned it and someone's like, did you say set dungeons? So, yeah, there are set dungeons in this, but they're only for, like, the main set. So, there's not going to be one for this uh, Wailing Host thing, this Legacy of Nightmares. It's for the class-specific ones, so, you know, for the Crusader, the Barbarian, the Monk, the Wizard, and the Demon Hunter, and the Witch Doctor. Um, they all have set uh, dungeons for their main sets, so... I think there's three or four per character at this point, but so that that's what that's all about, guys. That one actually wasn't too hard. That one's really not that difficult. I'll probably upload one with my barbarian, one with my witch doctor, and one with my monk for sure. I definitely want to try that out, see what kind of stuff I can do with that. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. If you have any suggestions, if I miss something, if there are any really strange rewards, I just didn't see it. Uh, please also let me know because for right now it doesn't really seem like that would be 
worth it or any reason for those. But again, let me know, guys. And uh, until next time, see ya.